Hey guys, I'm running a huge giveaway for Cyberpunk 2077, probably the most anticipated game of the year, I'm giving away a collector's edition box for any platform. If you'd like to enter, there'll be a link at the top of the video description and in the comment section down below. With that being said, I hope you enjoy the video. Alright guys, what is going on? Willis Gaming here. We are back again with another Division 2 video. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to get the first exotic armor piece which has come to the Division 2, the Dodge City Gunslinger's Holster. And it's pretty cool. I'll be showing you some gameplay of what this holster actually does and if it's worth grinding for to get the parts, etc. But the winner from my last Division 2 giveaway will be on screen right now. If you'd like to win a copy of the game, guys, feel free to leave a like on this video. Leave a comment down below and I'll be picking a winner in my next video. And remember guys, I'm running that cyberpunk giveaway for like a few months so you got plenty of time to enter that as well i'll be picking the winner closer to the launch date literally go enter it's the top link in the video description cyberpunk 2077 it's going to be awesome i cannot wait to cover it on the channel as well but yeah enough of that let's jump into this video how do we get this exotic uh, holster and is it even worth getting so the holster itself is called Dodge City Gunslinger's Holster and I'm going to show you how to get it first before I just talk about all the perks because I know you guys are here how to get it and then I'll go on to the perks later. So if you didn't know, Title Update 4 has just dropped today and with it a bunch of new changes. So to pick up the start of the quest line, you need to head over to Anaya. She is actually near the crafting bench in the White House. Pick up a quest and she'll give you a mission or a project even called Holster Intel Go West Young Agent. And it pretty much gives you some clues what to do, but it doesn't say exactly what you need to do. Essentially, we're going around looking for components to craft the holster. And the first step, I'm just going to cut straight what you need to do is you need to go to the very top left area of the map. And there's be a control point called Riverside Gas Station. You need to complete this control point on any difficulty. It doesn't matter. And when you can play it and when you go open the chest, you are given the first exotic piece. Now you need to make sure you open up the yellow chest and it will give you the holster fast leather belt now i'm pretty sure this is a hundred percent drop chance there's no random chance because me and my friend were doing it and we got the parts together so i'm pretty sure you get this every time so once you have the first part you just need to head back to the white house and hand it in because the project will actually require you to donate it itself to the exotic project and once you have done that you'll be on part two of the quest. Now, once again, it does kind of explain what you need to do is you need to find a ornate leather holster. You need to find a inverted leather holster and an oiled hammer guard. And what it basically tells you to do is you need to go around completing heroic control points. Now, if you didn't know what a heroic control point is, it is the level four version of the control point. So you need to do like three activities before you do the control point. It will then turn it into a level four one. And then essentially we're going to be doing those and you need to do one from each faction. So the order I did mine was I did a heroic level four hyena, a heroic level four outcasts, and then I finished up with a heroic level four true sons. Now it doesn't matter what order you do it in. Just make sure you do one from each faction. Don't worry about Black Tusk, I'll get to that in a bit. Now, when you complete each one of these heroic control points, each of the bosses at the end will drop an exotic part. Now, once again, I'm pretty sure it's a 100% drop chance, so there's no chance of getting it. You will always pretty much get it. If you don't get it, make sure to leave a comment down below what you did, and hopefully people can help you out. Now, once you have collected all of the three parts from doing all of the heroic control points, head back to the Project Dude. Donate all of the parts you just acquired, and then you'll be on the third part of the quest. Now, this one is kind of annoying. It just requires you to wait a bit. Now, it basically tells you to go to a saloon in the northeast of the White House, but it's actually east, like straight east from the White House. I'll show the location on the map right now, and you need to go here at like 12 p.m. I simply just waited outside the area for like a few minutes until it was 12 p.m. in game. If you didn't know how to tell the time in game as well, if you go to the uh, inventory screen and go to photo mode, there'll be a little clock which will tell you what the time actually is. Now, when it reaches 12, there will be some black tusk that appears. You know you've done this right when you see a dude called Caden. He will actually be inside, you need to kill him, and he will drop the final part for the exotic holster. Simply grab the part, finish the project, and head back to the crafting bench, and you can craft this exotic holster. Now, onto what the holster does, and if it's worth getting. I'm just gonna outright say it, I think this holster is gonna be viable, and it's pretty crazy from what I'm about to show you right now. So let's take a look at the perks here real quick. 
So these perks I'm about to read right now are only affected by pistols, but anything that's not in red is affected by everything else. So we got sleight of hand. You get 20% accuracy with a pistol, 20% stability, 40% increased reload speed with a pistol, 400% optimal range with a pistol, and 20% revolver damage. And obviously it requires a pistol drawn. Now the main thing which makes this holster so good is the holstered perk. Quick draw. Swapping to your pistol reloads all weapons. That by itself is so freaking amazing. If you didn't know, there is a holster perk called Filler Up, where you essentially, if you reload another gun, it reloads all your weapons. With this, if you just switch to your pistol, it will reload all of your weapons. So what I was actually testing out is, I was emptying my LMG, emptying my assault rifle, and then I just pressed my pistol button really quick, and then I pressed it back, and it reloaded my 100 mag LMG and my assault rifle fully. And I literally just tapped the button. I didn't even fully switch to the pistol. I just tapped the button and it literally did it in like 0.5 seconds. It reloaded two guns. Now that by itself is extremely good. Yes, I know this holster cannot roll with like crit chance or health or whatever your build requires, but that perk by itself is so freaking good and it's gonna save you a lot of time, which is awesome. Now, yes, granted, um, another perk on it as well is called Perforator. Shots fired from your pistol penetrate enemies. And the pistol headshot kills grant 20% weapon damage and allows your primary and secondary weapons to penetrate enemies for 8 seconds. This duration is increased to 11 seconds when using a revolver. And this uh, holster also has two offensive mod slots and one utility mod slot. So that is pretty nuts. Now you can see this background gameplay of me just shooting my LMG and switching to the pistol just to reload all of my guns. It's awesome. I really like this holster and I recommend you guys just go out and do the quest. It would literally take you like an hour to do the whole thing. I pretty much went around and just soloed the heroic control points. They took me like five to ten minutes each. The cool thing is now I'm pretty sure the NPCs in the control points will revive you. So if you are doing this solo, just a heads up, it will be a ton easier than you've probably tried before soloing heroic uh, control points. But that's been the video guys, I hope you enjoyed the Dodge City Gunslingers holster. The first ever exotic armor piece to come to the division. If any more exotic pieces or weapons come out, uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you see it here first. I'm definitely going to try this out in some builds to give it a little bit of test and stuff like that, just to see how well it plays out. But right now, it's pretty good. That one perk where you could just switch to your pistol, reload everything, really, really nice. Um, but I'm gonna leave you guys with some gameplay now of this holster in action, me just testing out and stuff like that in the firing range. But don't forget guys to go enter that Cyberpunk 2077 giveaway. All the links and stuff like that will be in the video description. It's gonna be at the very top. Click it and there'll be a bunch of ways to gain entries in this giveaway. And like I said, the winner will be announced closer to launch. And one more thing as well, guys, I promise this will be the last thing. Um, if you're looking to form a group for the raid um, in Division, in Destiny, jump in my Discord server, discord.gg slash Willis. It's an awesome community if you're looking to make a group. If you've never done the raid, we've got everybody running raids all day long. It's an awesome place to be. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in my next video and peace.